Yes. Well, good evening. Good evening. I hope everyone has enjoyed the foods and the spirits. I sure have. <laughs> I hope all of you have also. Um, and I want to say welcome uh, for um, for the Todd Water uh, Golf Tournament, Charity Golf Tournament. I think that uh, you have a wonderful turnout, Bill, and I know you're very proud. Tonight is a very special night for me, for uh, I get to do something that I don't get to do very often. Um, so at this time, I would like to ask Major Ed Paleto to please come forward. <laughs> I'm okay with you, though. I want to talk to you a little bit about Major Ed. Major Ed saw his life take a 180 degree turn on August the 17th, 2014, I mean 2004. He was thrust into a battle for his own life and, on, and then for what was he going to do the rest of his life. His SUV was struck by an explosive device leaving him with a broken arm, a broken pelvis, a broken leg, a broken knee. He had pieces of shrapnel in his abdomen and in his arm. And I think today you still carry a piece of that shrapnel with you, right? That's right. The doctors told him that they could not remove that. Major Ed was still able during all of these broken bones to stop that SUV so he could save the lives of others. And he did an honorable job. Thank you, Major Ed. <laughs> 52 days after the attack, Major Ed was given some bad news. He was told that they were gonna to have to amputate his leg. He underwent 17 hours of surgery, and he spent 60 days in the hospital before ever seeing any sunlight whatsoever. He suffered, he suffered greatly, and he lost weight. He lost from 195 pounds to 118 pounds. Now, Major Ed received many, many awards, the Purple Heart and many other military awards he received. But when I was reading his bio, I honestly believe the greatest award that uh, Major Ed received was the love of his family, his loving wife, his two children, and the fact that he was able to be with his family. After his recovery, he began to work diligently as a staunch advocator for those who had been just like him, this individual with other disabilities, those in military families whose loved one had been severely injured, other soldiers. He helped develop a program called Heroes Helping Heroes or Heroes Support Network. He also went and was, uh, went to work with the United Way of Oklahoma. And uh, then he retired from the military on May 16, 2005. But Major Ed wasn't finished. He knew he had a lot more to do. He became what they call a wing, the wingman for Major Don Rooney, who founded the Folds of Honor Foundation. And Ed serves as the director, or as the executive director of the Folds Honor. And due to his hard work and organization, along with Bill Pearson and all of the committee members who are here tonight, but most of all, because of the generosity of the, all of you who are here today, the Tidewater Patriot Day Golf Tournament has been a great success. We have been able to give four scholarships, $5,000 scholarships, to children, young boys and girls of military families who were killed or disabled 
while serving our great nation. And these children live right here in Horry County. Major Ed, as well as the veterans who accompany him to Tidewater, have made us all aware of the importance of giving back to the service members and their families who have sacrificed so much for our great nation. So Major Ed, you and your family have become a part of the North Myrtle Beach family. And as the mayor of this great city, it is my privilege on behalf of the city of North Myrtle Beach and the city council to present to you a key to our city. open to you. It is a key, is it a, a key that reflects that you have opened with your key our hearts and our minds and have, uh, have made us aware and we have stepped up to the plate to help the military families that were less fortunate than we are who gave their lives or who gave parts of their bodies and their minds so that we would have the freedom that we have today. So we congratulate you and say welcome and please, please come back as soon as, soon and as often as you can because you're now part of our family. My real key. Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Stay right here. Ed. Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, sweetie. Good job, Thank Well, uh, I'm going to introduce Major Ed. <laughs> and I don't mind it. The mayor stole my thunder. That was beautiful. I would like to point out, Ed, that now that you're an official citizen of North Myrtle Beach, tax notices come out in the fall. We have some people from the uh, North Puerto Rico Police Department that have some papers they want you to fill out. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, we'd we, we love you. Can I say something about that? I, I, we, were, we were over there talking about not building something. Well, I, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> the city takes uh, credit cards and you can do it online now. You see? Stay right there. Hey, listen, everybody. You know, for some reason, we were blessed to have Ed take us on, take this little tournament in this little town under his wing. He has shared his unlimited energy and his support to not only further the Folds of Honor cause, but to allow this tournament to increase its support for local charities. You know, as we go through life, it's rare. It's a rare occasion to meet people who have the ability to inspire others and provide the leadership to take us to new heights. Ed is one of those rare few. And I'm sure everybody here would agree with me that in addition to you becoming a new citizen of North Myrtle Beach, that everybody in this room would like to make you an honorary resident of Tidewater. Don't get excited yet, hold on. Is this a roast? No, 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 listen. Well, it, it, it might be, it might be. Every new resident of Tidewater gets their Tidewater license plate. And now that you are an official resident of Tidewater, I'd just like to give you a, a 
little bit, a little bit of some of the rules and regulations that uh, you'll be asked to follow from now on. What else? No, 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 there's more, Ed. There's more. This is good. This is good. We're building up to something here. Now, after you have time to read through this, I know you're busy, but you could probably read that through that. I'll deliver to you a full set of the uh, rules and regulations, the CCRs and the DB, uh, uh, DB, DRB regulations. But this will get you started. Karen? <laughs> Ed, Ed is a, <laughs> so very generously now offered to uh, become the MC for this portion of the program, and he'll be introducing two of our true American heroes tonight. We're going to introduce JB first and have JB come up and address us. BJ. 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 All right, BJ, I apologize. JB. It's in the paperwork. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then we're going to introduce Wesley. Okay. I do, I'm going to try something. Is Harold Harold Weigel told me something? And I got. I never know if I can get through this, but it, it's, it's. I think it's significant. You know, the families went out on a boat today, Harold's boat, to go out to the ocean, see the dolphins, enjoy the intercoastal. And Harold tells me that many times when the boat goes out, the dolphins don't show up. They're not there. He even feels bad. He offers a free round, free trip in the future if he didn't see any dolphins. He says, every time we have military families on the boat, the dolphins show up and they put on a show. 